So we managed to unlock the 454 on yesterday's live stream, but we're still about 16,000 cash short from being able to buy it. So I thought it was time to come here to Verhunga Savannah. I wanted to grind for some cash and there's a really good strategy for doing that. And basically it involves Gemsbuck and it's going to be kind of similar to what we did with the Black Buck on Parquet. Just one basic minor difference, but we're going to go ahead and spook all these guys out of here. This is pretty much the first lake you can get to. So you start like right here on this road, you got a lookout point, then you got an outpost, and then northeast of that we have this lake here. So basically, we're going to go ahead and spook all these, we're going to set up our tripod, and we're going to be just kind of waiting for them to come back. So it's not going to be like Parquet where they're running right by us, but they're just going to come back to their zone, and when they do, we're going to try to take them out. Now, we're not actually grinding handgun score this time, we could do that simultaneously, but I want to go ahead and use a rifle. The 30-06 is just going to be better for this. And just in general, I think it's going to be faster. And then once we add the 454, we can worry about the last bit of handgun score to unlock the hardcast bullets. But we're going to set up here so we have about an even length shot to both sides of the lake. And now it's just a waiting game. And they're just going to come back and they're going to drink here. So basically, the best case scenario is these shots right here where they're facing us. Because we have the 30 odd sticks, we don't have a really great weapon for these yet. So any free brain shot we get is just going to make life way easier. So we're just going to take those when we can get them. And hopefully we can drop as many of these as possible. I've been having a lot of problems with glitches where like animals aren't leaving tracks. So that's going to be something else we need to worry about. But yeah, it's about, I think, 1300 cash per Gems buck. So like 12, 13 of these and we should be set. So broadside shots are actually doable and it's only because Gemsbuck spinal cords are glitched or something but if you aim just kind of high in the lungs for some reason you just pretty much always get a spinal cord shot. So I'm gonna hope we can do that. I'm not sure I'll get it. And it doesn't look like we did but he'll still go down decently. That does mean though I'm gonna go track it because as I said, the whole tracks disappearing thing, and these are worth a lot of cash. It's, it's not worth it to try to save a little bit of time by not spooking these and staying here. The other thing I should mention is, if you're doing this, Gemsbuck drink time is something like 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. So you wanna stop uh, and go rest back to about 5.30. I don't like hunting at night. You probably could if you're just doing this, but even still, just uh, once it gets eight o'clock, you want to change the time so you're not just sitting here waiting for Gems Buck that are never going to return. And yeah, he didn't even make it into the brush here. So that's 91% quick kill with a double lung. And had I been a little higher, we're probably getting spinal cord. Like, they're glitch or something. If you hit this area, you still get the spinal cord and they'll drop immediately. But yeah, that's 1355 for that guy. It could have been a little better with full consec and quick kill. But this will go really quick. And because I've shown this strategy in a video before... I think we'll just sort of have a little montage of this and we should have the 454. And finally with that one down, we have enough cash for the 454 and a little bit left over for some ammo. So we'll go back and get that. And to be honest, we could try to just sit there and do the exact same thing. 
level handgun score and get to the point where we could just buy the hardcast rounds, but the hollow points are actually not bad. I mean, 100 expansion is ridiculous damage, and 25 penetration is actually decent. So they're pretty cheap at 440 each. Buy 50 of those, and we can still afford wherever it is the rhino. So I'm actually curious how the 454 will do on a red deer with these bullets. I'm guessing pretty good, but I don't know that I've ever shot one, so I want to see what's going to happen. It looks like high bleed rate, so uh, if you were wondering just how good these bullets are, it's pretty dang good. I mean, a red deer is a species the 454 is ethical for. It's the correct weapon class, so that's quite impressive. That's a single lung. So, we'll go ahead and accept that. I did level up with the Gemsbuck grinding, and one of the things that drives me nuts in this game is how slow the reloading is. So, Lightning Hands perk is nice. If you don't mind the reloading, then I'd put that elsewhere. But, it's something that I like to have that quicker reload, just so I can get on with whatever I'm doing. But yeah, I think we're going to leave that there. Um, short video, but I, I wanted to have this kind of strategy in the beginner series, the whole grind the Gemsbuck thing from a tripod, because it works great. Uh, you don't have to do anything. You can watch a YouTube video on the side or whatever as you do it and you can actually work out quite a lot of cash and again with that tripod you don't even ruin your zones with the hunting pressure but uh yeah got a nice little albino bonus warthog in there that was pretty neat I'll throw that in the trophy lodge somewhere you know what that cost me a lot of cash when I was doing that I totally didn't even think of it totally didn't even think of it that cost me like 4,000 cash to taxidermize it just hit me now would have been that much faster anyway I think we'll uh Go ahead and wrap this up. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.